Hello there everyone, my name is Mario from MStudio and today I will help you making better renders in less time. Let's take a look at these images. A pretty car with a beautiful logo on it, some definitely Swedish vases, a tractor coming straight from farmy thing and a definitely anonymous smartphone. Pretty nice, huh? What if I tell you that I am going to give you the knowledge and a free downloadable tool to make renders like this? <laughs> First of all, let's ask us a question. What is the secret behind a good render? Well, it's not just one thing, but to sum up, I can tell you that if you want to improve the quality of your renders, these are the ingredients. Great modeling, nice textures, good materials, proper lighting, solid render settings. To help you out with most of the elements of this list, MStudio has created a free downloadable file called Toolbox. You can download it from the following URL and if you are on YouTube you can find the link in the description. Let's take a look one by one at the elements of our list and let's see how the MStudio Toolbox can become your best partner in achieving, let me say it again, better renders in less time. Great modeling. Well, the Toolbox has nothing to do with it. Yeah, there are plenty of tutorials online that you can watch to learn modeling. Two only extra advices from us, learn box modeling, take care of details, they can really change the way your uh, renders look, but the toolbox has nothing to do with this, it has already been covered enough. Let's move on. Nice textures. The toolbox doesn't contain textures. It's super easy to find good textures online, so this item is also self-explanatory. But the next item is good materials. This is where the MStudio toolbox starts to help you make, once again, better renders in less time. If you open the file, you will see that at the bottom, in the materials browser, you will find a list of so-called basic materials, ready-to-go elements to make metal, ceramic, plastic, glass, wood, and so on and so forth. Of course, you can customize them in color and improve their quality with more options and channels to fit your design, but the days when you had to start from scratch to create a material are gone, and that's a relief. Proper lighting. The first best way to light a scene is to work as a photographer. Place your lights as if your scene was the studio of a photographer. To simplify that, the toolbox provides a sky element that already contains a very cool studio HDRI image that simulates a professional setup. The second great way to light the scene is to use an HDRI that matches the light of a scene you want to imitate. Just like textures, it's very easy to find HDRI images online and some of them are provided with all versions of Cinema 4D. But an HDRI needs global illumination to properly light a scene. And here is where we move to the next topic. Solid render settings. In 12 years of experience, I think that to understand render settings and global illumination has been the most challenging thing I had to face. And honestly, I don't know yet what and how every option works. But watching a lot of tutorials, reading a lot of pages, tasting a lot of different settings, I came out with two setups that are now part of my daily workflow and that give me a lot of satisfaction and spectacular results. Without getting into the technicalities behind these settings, let me explain how to use them. The first one is called Toolbox Progressive. 
is best suited for medium or average machines and is based on the Cinema 4D progressive mode. It means that the render will go on forever until you stop it. One minute, four minutes, two hours, it's on you to decide when you are satisfied with the result and is usually pretty fast. If you don't want it to go on indefinitely and want to stop it after a precise number of minutes, just go to the render settings, click on physical, then head to the little arrow next to the word sampler and change the mode to time limit or even pass count. Easy peasy. The second setting is called Toolbox Advanced. It has higher samples, higher quality and of course higher render time. It's best suited for fast machines or even better, render farm or net rendering setups. It produces great renders with a very slight film grain on top that I love, gorgeous lights, colors and shadows. Both settings are splotch free, so no ugly global illumination stains in your pictures and flicker free if you use them for animations. Can I get an hallelujah? <laughs> Better and faster renders is not just about settings. It doesn't matter how, but the goal is to get things done in less time. That's why we included some extra perks in the toolbox. In the object browser you will find a ready-to-use camera, a letterbox mask simulator to check your 235 by one cropping, a GI portal if you need to guide your global illumination through holes and windows and a very cool infinite floor setup. Let me tell you something about this last item since it's pretty cool. An infinite floor is a setup that allows you to create an endless empty space. I have learned this technique from Nick Campbell of Grayscale Gorilla. If you don't know this guy, you should definitely check him out because it's one of the greatest Cinema 4D artists on the planet. And I have made some changes to Nick's setup. And the main thing is that the infinite floor provided with a toolbox can be easily customized in color, saturation and lightness. By default, the floor is white with a soft vignette. But if you click the infinite floor object and go to the user data tab, you will find a slider settings for saturation that will immediately activate the color, then hue to change the tint and lightness to make it more or less bright. Warp speed ahead, Miss Parker. All right, that was too much. Let me finish saying thank you for watching this video and for downloading our toolbox. I want you to know that if you appreciate our efforts, it's not of course an obligation, but we don't mind even small donations. You can find the PayPal link in the download page of our website, or at least we could appreciate a like on our Facebook page or a thumb up to this video. It means a lot and helps us keeping doing what we do. My name is Mario from M Studio. Make me proud. Ciao.